All right, so when I was tuning into the energy of my client, this has only happened once or twice in my work, um, I got told that she is a time traveler. The reason I know this is because I saw visions of her in 1332 and then visions of her life right now. And then there was a string attached to them. There was no cut of a cord. The soul is still in both bodies. What this means is time is an illusion, right? Her past life is still existing right now. Her past life, imagine this. Her past self, she was a native shaman woman. She's in a deep meditation right now, and she's channeling into her future self asking, what do I need to learn in this life, right? And she's actually channeling into the person right now in this current lifetime. And then when my client right now in this lifetime tunes into her gifts and tunes into a deep meditation, she asks her past life self, what can I learn? And they're talking back and forth to each other. So they exist in both dimensions at the exact same time. Not everybody has the ability to quantum leap jump like this. I mean, you have to be a pretty evolved soul to be given this kind of gift. It's not an easy thing to do. You have to be very, very evolved in order to quantum leap and jump. But both of her souls are existing in both lifetimes right now. Picture this, like you're just on the phone talking to your past life self. And you're sharing these energetic messages back and forth, back and forth. So right now... In this current lifetime, she is a time traveler. She is from the past because when she's coming to do her work, she's channeling into that energy. She's bringing that knowledge into here. And then she's taking this knowledge and then sharing it back with her past life. Yeah, that's a little bit of what I saw today. Say hi.